Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Premier. The health care system is hanging on by a thread. Nurses are at a breaking point, feeling overworked, underpaid, and underappreciated. The ONA says we're facing a nursing shortage of as high as 20 per cent in hospitals. ICU has reduced capacity because we don't have nurses to staff them. The surgery backlog is getting worse because we don't have nurses to staff them. This directly affects patient care. Nurses are at Queen's Park today asking for fair compensation, fair wages and benefits like access to mental health supports and services. So, Speaker, will the Premier do the right thing, show nurses the respect they deserve, and finally revoke Bill 124 so new Question. nurses can negotiate the compensation they deserve for working so hard caring for us? The President of the Treasury Board. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and our government uh, is incredibly grateful for the contributions uh, of Ontario's health care workers throughout this uh, mm. pandemic. And our government has been there to support our health care system, our health care workers uh, throughout uh, this entire pandemic. And, and Mr. Speaker, that is why this government uh, invested in over $342 million in the 2021 and 2022 to add over 5,000 new upskilled registered nurses and registered practical nurses, as well as an additional 8,000 personal support workers. This included providing 500 registered nurses with specialized acute care training, 420 registered nurses through the existing Response. community commitment for nursing. Mr. Speaker, our government's priority is the health and safety of all Ontarians, and we have been singularly focused on ensuring that everyone is kept safe through this. Thank you very much. Supplementary question. Back to the member opposite. The government has been there to cap total compensation for nurses by 1% over three years, which represents a significant pay cut given the inflation we're experiencing. Nurses are not only asking for fair wages, they're asking for benefits such as access to mental health supports and services. So after two years of the pandemic, I can tell you all Ontarians are asking for additional access to mental health supports and services. So Speaker, if the government is going to clearly say no to paying nurses a fair wage and fair benefits, will the government at least say yes? to my motion to make mental health care more affordable Question. and accessible by expanding mental health care services coverage under OHIP. And to the respond, the Associate Minister of Mental Health and Addictions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And um, I'd like to remind everyone what we are, in fact, doing for our frontline workers. Since the beginning of the pandemic, Mr. Speaker, we've seen how significant the impacts have been on the mental health of Ontarians across the province, including the frontline health care workers. That's why our government invested $12.4 million over two years to provide existing and expanded mental health and addiction supports for all frontline health care workers across the province. And this investment, Mr. Speaker, will protect our progress in the fight against COVID-19 by supporting the workforce in the acute care sector, long-term care, and home and community care sectors as well. And that is what our intentions is, to, to ensure that we do have these supports in place. We also took action to invest another $23.6 million to expand access to internet-based cognitive behavioral Response. therapy to further support our frontline workers. And over 70,000 people have uh, subscribe to the program, as well as 10,000 health care workers. So we are doing everything we can to help support our front care uh, uh, health care workers. 